Now a Target 12 consumer investigation preventing dryer fires. We've learned thousands of these fires happen every year and they're most common in the fall and winter months. So tonight we uncover what causes dryer fires and how to reduce the risk in your home. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell is here now with what she's learned. The enemy here is lint. It builds up quickly and can get caught in some not so easy to reach places. Heidi Bernier smelled smoke and followed its trail right into her laundry room. It was clear that it was coming from the dryer. I could see flames. And my first thought was get the dogs out, get my husband, someone needs to help. Her husband pulled the dryer away from the wall and kept the fire from spreading. Once the appliance was out of the house, firefighters opened up the front and found the ignition source. There was a compartment underneath the drum that the lint had been leaking into, and that is what caught fire. Um, I'm thankful that we had just cleaned the vent, that it didn't go any further, because God knows how bad it could have gotten. There are about 2,900 dryer fires every year, according to the U.S. Fire Administration. Those fires cause an estimated five deaths, 100 injuries, and $35 million in property loss. There's a lot of obstruction. Cumberland Fire Chief Kenneth Finley says there are two typical problem places. The exhaust pipe just kind of gathers around the edges. And the lint screen. This is where you have problems, where the lint screen traps it like it just did. If you don't see it, when you put the screen back in after cleaning, you push this down. If lint builds up, airflow is restricted. That causes heat to build up. If it gets hot enough, you'll get flames. And you can see... The same thing applies for the exhaust. And this no. is all potentially combustible material. Yes. So we asked the chief to show us how fast it can go up. This is what we pulled out of the, uh, the vent hose. The chief set up a controlled situation and lit the lint on fire. Immediately, we're, we're off. Right away. Right away. We've already pegged out over 888 degrees. This it, is it why it's important to clean out your lint screen after every load of laundry. Cotton seem to shed more than polyesters. You know, we all like the luxurious thick towels. Those shed dramatically. Uh, and it's all comforts that we enjoy at one side that can create havoc for us on another side. So the chief says you should also clean out the exhaust four times a year. Get a brush and a shop vac and, and brush it and, and shop vac it out. And just in case, never leave your dryer on when you're out of the house or sleeping. I think honestly not. Heidi says she had actually planned to go to the grocery store while her dryer was on, but something told her to stop. Thankfully, I listened to the voice in my head and didn't go. We were really, really lucky. Cleaning out your dryer venting system four times a year may seem like a lot. So coming up new at 6, we'll show you some of the tools you can use to make it a little bit easier. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Now in a Target 12 consumer investigation preventing dryer fires. We've learned there are thousands of these fires every year, especially in the fall and winter. In F5, we showed you how just cleaning the lint trap on your clothes dryer isn't enough. And new at 6, we'll show you different options for cleaning your dryer vent and how much they'll cost you. Consumer investigator Susan Campbell is here now with that vital information. When it comes to keeping your dryer vents clear of potential fire hazards, you have several options. They can cost as little as a couple bucks, or you could spend up to a couple hundred dollars if you don't want to make it a DIY project. The thickness is, is pretty much almost a quarter of an inch thick of, of lint. Chances are you'd see this in your lint filter and clean it out. It's a good first step to prevent a fire in your dryer. And this is where you have problems. But Fire Chief Kenneth Finley says it's not enough. I'll show you why. So even if you're cleaning off your lint trap after every load of laundry, a lot of lint can still get stuck inside here. We bought a brush for about six bucks. This is one way you can get in there and really get all of that extra lint out. So that was all below the lint trap. The other potential problem place, your dryer's exhaust hose. If lint builds up, heat will also build up, which could lead to flame. If you take a look, you can see there's a ton of lint that's built up inside this one. We bought a bigger brush, and this is just gonna fit perfectly inside here so we can pull some of that lint away. And now that this lint is all loosened up, we can dump it out. The bigger brush comes with a drill attachment in case you want to get some power into your cleaning. 
This option was about $20. You can also hire someone to do the work for you. We called several local companies that specialize in dryer vent cleaning. We received quotes ranging from $109 up to $250. A couple safety reminders. Never leave your dryer running while you're sleeping or out of the house. Don't overload it and keep the area around your dryer clean because the heat from the dryer could ignite anything that's too close. With the Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.